You are now entering a techie zone. Well, welcome back into the mind of the techies world. And today we're going to talk about this thing. This is my um, funny story as to how I kind of got this. Um, this is the Motorola Moto E um, prepaid cell phone from Verizon Wireless. Um, kind of an interesting story about this. Um, Best Buy had this as their Black Friday deal uh, for like 10 bucks or something. And um, I kind of got a little too carried away and I bought one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, hey, for 10 bucks, why not? Um, plus, I also kind of need a phone, so um, I figured, eh, why not? Um, this is the second generation Moto E. It comes with a um, grip shell. From what I've seen, it's a little difficult to get that on, but I may or may not use that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I do need a phone, and I figured this might do it. Um, it's from what I understand it runs near stock Android um, which is a big selling point for me if I'm gonna look for any Android device it's got to be near stock um, I can't stand it when uh, people put their own stuff on it um, <clears throat> Samsung so let's go ahead and uh, well before we get into it we have a little flap here and the flap talks about cell phone uh, monthly the uh, monthly plans here unlimited talk and text $45 a month um, I have seen where people have been able to um, get these to work on other networks. I've also seen these. Um, uh, I've also seen people being able to get these things to work on. Um, what is it? Their postpaid networks, where you basically only pay for what you use. Um, if I could get it to work on that, that'd be great. Um, if not, I'll probably just go with Verizon. Um, the Verizon coverage in my area is actually pretty good. Um, I used to go through Verizon years ago. And uh, their coverage actually um, is actually pretty good here. This is what the phone looks like. This is the phone itself. It's actually inside of here. We get a grip as to what it looks like. It says America's largest and most reliable 4G LTE network. Um, let's see. On the box here, it tells you its features. So it's got inside here we have one phone, one grip case, SIM card, wall charger, and brochures. The features for woo 4.5 inch HD display, 5 megapixel rear facing camera, VGA front facing camera. Um, that's kind of poo poo. Uh, 1.2 gigahertz quad core CPU, uh, 32, uh, 2390 um, milliamp hour battery, an Android operating system, which I believe is Jelly Bean, uh, not Jelly Bean, um, Lollipop. I kind of get those two confused. Okay. So to open this, I believe we do this thing. We just kind of tear that, I believe, and it should come open just like this. And you know what? Let me move my keyboard back in there. One of the great things about the M stand is it's got this great little keyboard housing there. So let's take a look inside of here. Let's see what we can do. And it slides out just like this. Set the camera down just for one moment. And it slides out like that. Move the box to one side. And here we have... Oops, sorry about that. So here we have um, the phone itself. It's right inside of here. Um, right here. So here's the phone. It's secured inside of here, so we got to take it out of here. Here we have the wall plug with the USB charging cable. It is actually integrated. It is not like um, most where it's actually detachable. It is integrated right in there. Do you see it's integrated right in? So you can't remove that. So if you lose this, um, you well, let's, let's take a look at this. That actually, you could probably use any. If you do end up losing this, you could probably use any um, nano USB connection with that. I don't see why not. It doesn't look anything specialized. Inside of here, we should have goodies, and here we have consumer information about radio frequency emissions and responsible driving. I don't care about that. Uh, we all know you don't text and drive and all that stuff. You don't do that kind of stuff. But uh, people do anyway because we're so important, right? Here we have activation and service guide. It tells us how to activate this phone. Um, and tells you about some of the features about it and all that cool stuff. That's just documentation. After people look at how to, I guarantee you, after people look at how to um, activate it, they will never look at that again. So it's just kind of paper wasted. 
let's move this out of here and let's focus on the phone itself. Now let's see. Ah, I see how this comes out. Okay, so the back comes out and I'll just um, hold on here. Put the camera down just for one moment. We'll get it out. There it is. Move all these plastic pieces aside. And I should also mention, before I get into that, this also came in the bag. Um, I had this delivered. I didn't go to Best Buy and buy this. I was not going to go and fight with 128 gazillion people. Um, I bought it online and I had it delivered to the house. So, um, And it just came today on the day of making this. It is Wednesday, December 2nd of 2015. So um, that is the date this video is being recorded. Uh, so it just came uh, today. So um, I've been busy all afternoon. So that's why I'm doing this video late. <laughs> but... Um, Anywho, this is the activation guide, I'm sure. I really didn't take a look through this. I just had it sitting here on my desk. Um, it probably, yeah, it looks like it talks about phone activation, how to activate your phone. So um, I'll take a look at that later. But here's the phone itself. This is the Moto E. Um, I got to say, it's actually quite stylish. I like the back. I love that big M logo, the old Motorola logo. I love that. That is so cool. Hello, Moto. Um, I wonder if that ringtone is still on here. Um... That is very interesting if it's still on here. I don't know if it is. I'll find that out. Um, if Hello Moto, if that old ringtone is still on there. I miss that. Verizon branding on there, 4G LTE. Um, up here, it looks like we have your um, headset for listening when you call. That looks like your front-facing camera. On the bottom, we have the USB port there for charging. I'm assuming you could plug in other accessories as well. Um, we looks like we have a volume control switch here and uh, uh, power and sleep um, and that looks to be about and we also have headphones right up there plug headphones in there and that looks to be about it um, it looks like you can take this back off to replace the battery I'm assuming the sim card is in here somewhere I'll have to look at the instructions but I'm well, there's a little notch right there I'm assuming you take something and get it in there um, but let's go ahead and lift up on this Thing to reveal the actual screen. I believe it's 4.5 inches, that's what the uh, box said. Doo -doo, let's see. There it is. It's a little plastic layer. That comes off. And then we have the screen protector. Um, or not. Um, I thought it was a screen protection. I guess it isn't. Um, okay, so here's the phone itself. Um, zoom out on that. So here it is here without the screen thingy on there with me and you can see my reflection in the screen. Hello. Um, it said it came with that blue case but I can't find it. Um, ah, I see it's in here. Aha, I see I skipped over it. Uh, ah, I see you always double check. That blue um, phone case is in here and here it is here. Um, this is it here. So. See, that's what happens. You always double check. Um, it's actually plastic. I actually thought this was an entire rubber case. It's not. The outer, the um, lip of it, the outer is rubber, but the back of it's plastic. Um, I kind of thought it might have been rubber. I've seen people have had a bit of a complicated mesh trying to get this on here. Um, so it would kind of look something like that. Um, I've seen um, other people who have bought this have had a convoluted time trying to get this thing on here. Um, I may or may not put it on. Um, it depends on my mood. But anyway, so there's our um, blue um, protection case. And here's the phone itself. Let's go ahead and plug this in and um, see what we get here. So we're going to take our power supply here. And we're going to plug her in. Now, um, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to be using this phone off of. I may just use it off Verizon's um, plans. Um, I think it'll be sufficient for what I need. We'll see. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into ye old wall. So we just happen to have an outlet right here. And we're just going to plug it in. Cord length is actually pretty good um, on this. It's not too bad. And we're going to zoom out first and we're going to plug the USB cable and it only goes in one way 
It is not USB-C where it is reversible. Um, finding it the right way, and that's it. And here it comes. Just says it's charging, 54%. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Vibrator there. Powered by Android. Okay, here it comes. No sound. Maybe there is supposed to be no sound. <laughs> Android is starting, starting apps. You can see that. Ooh, it's quite bright. So it looks like we're going to boot right into. Um, so we got to activate our phone. We go right into phone activation. Um, so it looks like we have a fully functioning phone here. Let's, um, yeah, and of course, if you do that, it goes into landscape. Let's go ahead and get exit plan selection here. I'm going to skip activation. I mean, we want English. Hold on, there it goes. English, it sees our wireless networks. Um, and it just connect to my secondary network, which is not what I wanted, but <laughs> why not? Um, let's see about your privacy, accept and continue. Software update. Be hilarious if there was a software update. Um, again, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this yet. I don't know if I'm going to use it off of Verizon's network or not. Um, these prepaid phones are supposed to be unlocked. Last I knew. Sign into my Google account, so I will do that. Um, so I'll let you look at my beautiful desktop here. That is actually a Doppler weather radar, in case you didn't know what that was. I need to enter in my credentials for my Google account. And do you agree to the terms? Yes, I do. Of course, if you don't, it won't let you do anything. I'm going to sign us into my Google account. Set up payment info. We're just going to do... Remind me later, that's an email notification on my iPad. <laughs> I've been so popular with emails. I've been getting emails like wonk, 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 wonk. So, I've <laughs> been quite popular. Just a sec. Get apps and data. Um, restore from this. This actually is something interesting. This SMT310 is actually my Galaxy tab. <laughs> That's funny. It actually shows up because it's linked to my Google account. Let's see. We do not want to transfer anything. So, let's see what we can do here. Here, the way the okay, then we'll do this. Then, um, let's see what do we got set up as new device. That's what we want. Next, protect your phone, set screen lock, and I want to do a pin. And once again, I'll let you look at a Doppler radar. Let's do there. How about that? Show all notification content. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, backup and everything. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, get Google now. Yeah, whatever. This is probably the most frustrating part about setting up a new phone is all this stuff. You have to go through and then we'll just click done and that should take us right to our home screen and there it is so this is let's get out of that got it so this is a uh, full stock Android this is what Android um, I don't know if it's full stock but this is near stock Android this is what it looks like we have our notifications up there we got Wi-Fi um, and um, 4G signal battery and time of course, you got your app launcher here for your most used apps. Um, since it sees my Wi-Fi network, I should be able to tap on Google Chrome and browse on the internet since I'm connected to my wireless network. One of them, anyway. Um, help the Chrome, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see. Search or type in URL. Let's go to... 
Apple. And we're browsing the web just fine. So it is browsing the web over a Wi-Fi connection. Again, I don't have this set up on a data connection yet, so if you try calling, it won't do anything. But yes, this is, and that's your home button. Uh, so this is my new Galaxy, uh, Galaxy. <laughs> so this is my new um, Moto E phone that I'm gonna be, let's take a look at the camera. Let's take a look at that real quick. Oops, not that button. We want um, that. So, yes, we'll do next, yes, whatever. This is the rear-facing camera, and um, the rear-facing camera on this is actually pretty good. You probably can't tell looking at the viewfinder through the camera, through the um, uh, Handycam, but looking at it on the screen in real life, it actually is really good. The rear-facing camera on this is really nice just by zooming through here. The front-facing camera is where I'm not expecting the greatest amount of things. Um, oh yeah, the front-facing camera, I mean, so the front-facing camera doesn't look too bad. Um, I mean, it doesn't show up that well on the handy cam, but um, on the video it won't show up that well. Um, I'm looking at it in the viewfinder and it looks quite washed out, but um, in real life, yeah, it's not as bright. There's, it looks like there's some grain in it, but it's not bad. Um, honestly, it doesn't look all that bad. Probably because I have the lamp here um, that is helping um, the light situation. But probably in a lower lit situation, the camera is probably going to be poo poo. But um, that's all right. Again, it's it's cheap. You don't expect great things from cheap, do you? <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is my new Moto E. Um, I do expect to do a follow up video on this at some point. Um, after I get it activated and figure out what I'm going to use it for, uh, you know, and what network I'm going to use it on and all that stuff. So this is it. This was a $10. I got conned in. I really didn't get conned in. I kind of got caught up in the heat of the moment of the Black Friday sale and I bought one. And, and it's a good thing too because not long after I bought mine online, they were sold out. So it's a good thing I bought this. Plus I needed a phone anyway, so... Why not? So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a quick unboxing, if you wanted to classify quick, uh, unboxing and overview of the Moto E, my new phone um, that I'm going to be using. I have that old iPhone sitting around here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. But anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see, I've got about two or three videos that I'm currently working on, so those will be all uploaded at another date. Um, it's like two or three videos that are be uh, coming down the line, so look for those. So um, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from the Techies world, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, see you next time. Yo, fresh haircut, fresh cars, fresh homeboys, fresh stars. About to bring four girls back, five stars. Famous, without the fuss, I'm hard from the shit.